everybody! Welcome to It Left and Right! I am Larkin Nightingale. And I am Phantom Corgi Butts. And welcome back to Dream Daddy! We just uh, uh, got back me. from the the, 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 yeah, the barbecue, where we uh, talked with the dads, and there was a lot of dad puns. Yep. Now we're at home. Yep. Amanda and I arrive home with the remnants of our veggie plate. Hmm. Seems like nobody was really into the cauliflower. Any big plans for this evening? Actually, yeah. I'm going out with some friends. Mm. Oh. Mm. Is that okay? Of course, just keep you posted and be home before midnight. You got it. And be careful. I will. Make good choices. Huh. Of course. And call me if you need anything. Huh. Dad, you're not going to do the thing where you wait silently for me to come home in the in the living room with all the lights off, are you? What? No, I've never done that and I will never do that. Hmm. Okay, do you have plans tonight? I, uh, my plans are kind of... <laughs> We're kind of to eat ice cream and watch TV with Amanda, but I'll find something to do. I'm gonna work on some stuff. You know, dad stuff. I'm just relaxing tonight. Have fun, okay? Great. See you later. I watch Amanda drive off into the night. I really do hope she has fun. I plop down in front of the TV and turn on some wine and dine mastermind. The celebrity chef Gavin Chapman. Looks like Gavin's making a roasted rack of lamb with rosemary mashed potatoes. I'd love to be able to cook like that, although I think if I was actually good at cooking, I'd use my powers for evil, like just making baked Alaskas all day instead of any food of real nutritional substance. Man, Gavin Chapman just caught that thing on fire, but he, or caught that thing on fire, but he meant to do it. What a professional! I lose track of time as I blaze through the several episodes of Wine and Dine Mastermind, and also one episode of some cooking show called The Meat Hell, and I'm not even sure what that one was about. I, it was just a lot of yelling. I glance over my watch. Man, it's almost midnight. I should check in with Amanda. I sent a text. Hey, kiddo, you good? I wander into the kitchen as I wait for a reply. Amanda's phone is almost always in her hand, so I'm sure she'll respond soon, unless she's driving home now. In which I ca in, in which case, I hope she doesn't respond soon, because I definitely taught her better to than to text and drive. I reach into the freezer and grab an ice cream sandwich. It's a little late for this, but I think I earned it after a long day of socializing. I check my watch again, and then my phone. Nothing yet. Hmm. Okay, see, now I'm worried. Do I call her? Do I call the cops? No, 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 no. It's too soon for that. I'll just send her a gentle reminder text. What's up? <laughs> Evan never passes. Now I'm really worried. The episodes of Gavin Chapman's Meet Hell are not only not uh, sogging my anxiety, oh my god, my voice, but possibly exacerbating it with all the yelling, so I keep pacing around the house waiting for her to come back. Why didn't I find out where she was going? Who was she even with? Why didn't I know any of her friends' numbers? Why don't I even know any of her friends' full names? Who is Emma P? <laughs> <laughs> I sent a sender another text. Amanda, please text me and let me know you're okay. I can't help but think of all the awful things that could be happening to her. Ah! Oh, thank God it's her. Amanda opens the door and shuffles in. Finally, finally she's come home. I know she's okay. So, Sweetie, thank God you're safe. Uh, yep. But now that I know she's okay, I'm really mad. Why didn't you answer my texts? Amanda will uh, yeah. Ah. Oh, whoops. Guess I didn't see those. She starts to walk to her room. Amanda Ann! Hmm. Whoa, we're pulling out the middle name now? Amanda, you come come home an hour and a half after your curfew and you don't even respond to any of my texts. You really freaked me out. I was about to call the cops. Huh? Dad, you're seriously overreacting. You're not going to be like this when I go to, off to school, are you? I, yeah. Or I was scared? Yeah. No. Oh. You're my, I have a right to be concerned. You're my only daughter. Well, I can't give you a play-by-play -play on everything I do all the time. I'm 18. You should even... You shouldn't even be giving me a curfew in the first place. Um, excuse you. I don't like your attitude. I sit down on the couch and put my head in my hands. I feel very tired of all of a sudden. You really scared me. Just please don't do that again. Oh. <sighs> Alright. I'm gonna go to bed now. Amanda closes the door to her room and I head to mine. Jeez. As I'm falling asleep, one thing she said keeps echoing my mind. You're not gonna be like this when I go off to school, are you? I definitely didn't sleep well last night. I brewed some strong coffee and make some scrambled eggs for Amanda as a peace Aww. offering. She eventually wanders into the kitchen. Hey. Aww. I thought about what you said last night. Aww. I should have texted you. I said I was going to do it, and I didn't. I honestly just didn't even think about it. Aww. I mean, the side pops. I won't do it again. Well, I... I'm sorry, freaking out. I'm sorry. Um, you're an adult now. I shouldn't have gotten so worked mm. up. Team Achong. Team Achong. Amanda gives me a hug. Want some eggs? Ah. You know it. Sprinkle some cheese on. Alrighty, dude. Hey. Bless you. 
And then to scarf stemmy eggs in the time it takes me to wash the pan. Alright, I'm off to school. Smell you later. Wait, one more thing before you go. What? What's dad book? Ugh. It's a social media platform. Wait. Huh? What? What's a social media platform? Dad, I have to go to school. Come on, Amanda, I'm an old man. I can't put together a dad book profile on my own. Alright, I'll help you sound interesting on the internet. Ugh. Amanda spends the next couple of minutes setting up my profile in dad book, which as it turns out is a place where dads can get together and talk about fatherhood. Alright, Pops, we gotta fill out your profile. Let's get some likes and dislikes. <gasps> Do we get to pick these like and dislike? Oh my god. Friday night, a... you're most likely to... Yeah, Fall asleep watching the History Channel, torment my children with dad puns, yep. sink into a blissful oblivion. That question is my point connection. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? My trusty girl. The, the lost shaker of salt. Cast away on DVD for instructional purposes. A boat, obviously. I don't need anything. I still regret turning to this there. Oh. A boat. What do you What are your turn ons? Strong dad. Oh, hold on, wait. I think this is setting up yeah. for our dad. So, um. Crying, uh, well manicured lawn. I don't know if now. Okay. All right. So strong dad art. Okay. So comfortable with grill thing. I think would comfortable be... with crying. Um. Six sensitive. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, salty boat captain. <laughs> yes. Uh, good father. Uh... Good father. Mm -hmm. Wait. Okay. What's your favorite movie genre? Or okay. Well, wait. Wait. Gotta dig into my brain here. War documentaries, I remember Robert. Ro what Robert liked. Sean, Sean Connery's Connery. entire filmography, anything on Laserdisc, romantic comedies, whatever makes me cry, old comedies that haven't aged well. Um. Who would like film? Because Matt, <coughs> Matt and Hugo seem to have similar interests. Yeah, but Matt was more open. Yeah will make me cry. Well, and then it's also hard because of what Brian likes, too. I don't know a lot what he likes. Do that one. What will make me cry? Yeah. Very sensitive dad. What's your ideal date? Nabbing together, doing a thousand plus beasts together, eating a healthy dinner. Trying to do a cash, but getting hopelessly lost. Arson. <coughs> Being emotionally vulnerable. Uh, d um, doing a thousand puzzle... <coughs> Doing a puzzle together sounds like a Hugo thing. You okay there? <coughs> Tickle. Oh, nappy? <gasps> I guess. <coughs> She's gonna try and help you. <coughs> what do you, what do you never leave home without? Let's see. I spend a lot of home time thinking about. It's very serious how far I am with my child. Potential ends the, the world. world. I'll never be able to love myself as much as I love my grill. What? Can that one. When I can get my next little copy. Profile complete. See, that wasn't so. Oh, that was you. Yeah, that was our kind of fun. I could totally spend all day on here just looking at people's profile. Hey. You should message one of them, or more than one of them. All these dads seem pretty interesting. Okay, <laughs> I promise I'll make some friends. Amanda gives me a hug. Go get him, dad. Oh, God. <clears throat> Welcome. Okay, you Matt. Got dads. Matt, Matt, ah! Matt, 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 Matt. Avid music enthusiast, passion, pa oh, let me see this over again. Avid music enthusiast, passionate coffee drinker, you can find me most days selling bean juice over at the coffee spoon or hanging out at the park with my amazing daughter. Hit me up about 80s no wave music. On a Friday night, you're most likely to per perfect my cold brew setup, one drip at, at a time, baby. If you had one thing to take with you onto a desert island, what would it be? Fine tunes to pass the days away. Honestly, I would do that too. What are your turn ons? Multi instrumentalism. <laughs> what did you want to do when you grew up? Yeah, a barista, weirdly enough. What's your favorite movie genre? Shit with subtitles. What's your ideal date? You go to animal shelter go to the animal shelter and seriously consider adopting a cat. What do you need what do you never leave home without? My headphones, both in ear and over ear, just in case. I spend a lot of time thinking about where did writing commas into song titles come from? And where did it go? Did we all just agree that message. it's a bad idea? Hold on, wait. I want to read all of them first. No. Well, okay. We'll message him. Yes. And then we'll read. Okay. Hey, baby. Uh, drinking too much water can cause water intoxication. That is very true. And you'll die. Yeah. Do do what you love and the money will come. Mm. Damn it! I can't even go back to read it. Fuck. I never get to Matt's dad book page and type out a message. 
Oh, hey did. man, great getting to see you at the barbecue. barbecue. We should definitely hang soon. Three later. A minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Hey dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show right now at the Sound Garden. Want to come out? Hell yeah! What's the Sound Garden? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, that was you. Oh man, I haven't been to a real ring. concert since Amanda was born. I'm ready for this? Go. While I'm thinking, another message pops to the screen. Pup is playing tonight. Cool little indie punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe the band. Whatever, let's go out for uh, our comfort zone. Sure. I'll log off to Dad Book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I even went to a concert? I mentally backtracked decades through memories of denim jean jackets and a moral panic over teenagers turning into the occult. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh, oh god, other people thought it was cool. Finally, I remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of the airbrushed vans in the parking lot, including my own band van. All six of them. Man, how did anyone survive the 80s? Okay, so I haven't been to a concert in a long time. What do you even do at concerts now? I spend most of the day pacing around the house and thinking about my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought it was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Her eyes are a little puffy, almost as if she had been crying. Hey, hey, what's wrong, Panda? Oh, nothing, fine. I'm fine. I just got sad because I realized that society collectively refuses to take a pop music seriously, despite the fact that some of the most interesting musical in innovations are coming out of that genre. I think it's just yet another thing that we write off because we can't, <laughs> we can't take young women or their interests seriously. You have to tell me what's actually- are you sure that's all- that, that, you, that, This that, one? I don't know. It's pretty messed up. I wanna... Okay. Yeah, oh. do the first one. If there's, you know, anything going on, I just want you to know that I'm here for you, and I'll always be here for you. Whether you need a shoulder to cry on, or a strong dad to go kick someone's butt, I'm only a phone call away. Thanks, Popsicle. <laughs> I like that. Aww. I appreciate that. But I'm fine, really. I'm unconvinced, <laughs> but I'll stop badgering her about it, and I'm sure she'll tell me when she's ready. Anyway, what's up? Mm. Amanda... How do I be cool? Hmm. Let me put on a pot of coffee first. It's gonna be a long night. No, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert, and I don't think I've been to one since you were bored. Ugh. Yeah, you have. You took me to one when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by the memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh god, I tried so hard to forget. Hmm. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot, and then you cried and screamed the whole time? Hmm. Dad, it was so much more than that. I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed. You seemed pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your Trapper Keeper. <gasps> yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. Oh my god, she's into smut. <laughs> anyway, you should <clears throat> be all set for the concert if you remember that. Just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll be you'll fit right in. Well, it's at a smaller place, and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Uh -huh. Like, DIY... Gutter punk, trash, straight edge. Come on, Dad, give me something to work with here. Mm -hmm. Are they post punk, pro proto punk, C punk, Jeremy punk? What's Jeremy punk? Right. I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. Mm -hmm. They're not positive hardcore, are they? <gasps> um, he, he said <coughs> that they're Canadian punk? Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre. It might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just con counterculture rebellion. What am I trying to s what I'm trying to say is just enjoy the music. That's it. I mean, yeah, that, it's not like you're gonna jump on the mosh pit or anything. Well, that's comforting. <clears throat> and if a strange dude in a s in a set your goal hoodie offers offers to buy you merch, don't accept it, and definitely don't go into the go on three awful dates with him afterward, where he takes you to the nice restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. What? Huh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. I show up at the coffee shop, a uh, coffee spoon at eight, and what I hope is a concert-appropriate attire. I see Matt up front, you know, with our. Their white t-shirt, 
the bl- light blue jeans, rolled cuffs. It all works, man. <laughs> we, we put a lot of effort into our pompadour yep. tonight. Uh, uh, you, you have your comb in your back pocket. Yes. Hey. hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Ready? Yeah. He's bored ready. Any situation, any outcome, I can handle it. I sleep with one eye open, and I am prepared to kill. Are you? Hmm. Uh, ah, oh, fuck! Shit. No! Well, it's been a while. I, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rocks for cool. I have no idea what I'm in for. Oh. Did your daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts that everybody holds a sign and screams and cry? Uh, yeah. Oh. I got two lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. Oh. But dude, I get I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is gonna be awesome. Just hang with me, Augustus. You'll be good. This scene is super supportive. <coughs> It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is a scene? <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can't describe can describe a music scene as it as it pen, pertra- pertains to a community of people who like the same genre, but it also describes the genre of music no one wants to admit it into. Mal looks off into the middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking. Never again. That's confusing. Hey. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head to the show. After waiting in a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel out of place. Uh. My waning youth is showing, and I'm suddenly aware of my of my mortality. When we're good, when bleh, when were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, sea punk actually a genre? Oh, it's a sidebar. We have until 4 p.m. this time, so we can keep recording. Oh, hey, you! <laughs> Your kid runs up and high fives Matt. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me, shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. Me too. Oh. <clears throat> I'm like a small animal. Loud <laughs> noises and large, group, lar- large groups of people frighten me. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? That's my favorite thing to do. A couple of other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yell hey as well. Uh, yeah. Matt waves and hugs a couple of people. He seems really in his element uh, here. Matt turns his attention back to me. I'm so afraid of all these people. <laughs> uh, oh. Let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hang out. A couple more people notice Matt and took their drinks at him. Seems like you're a popular guy here. Uh, yeah, I got a lot of shows. This is really cool. But it's time like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Same. And then I become keenly aware of where my hands are. (laughs) And that there's no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. God damn it, where do I put my tongue? (laughs) See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes and I still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This scene seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listened to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Well, before and we check out the merch, we're going to end the episode, episode here. here. You just clicked it. My bad. <laughs> we're going to end Whoa. episode here. here. <laughs> I love the hair. I do too. That, that, those are goals. Mm. Thank you all anyway, for watching. Yes. Uh, leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. And we're going to yes. keep playing this. So, yes. yeah. Anyways, bye. bye.